Okay, so welcome back. Uh, hopefully you're still watching this whole build series. Everything I'm running into, if you've watched this build series, is broke. So this does not surprise me on the rear end. We're gonna get that, re that rear independent rear suspension differential built out here uh, pretty soon. But now that we have the front tires and everything done with the front end of the quad, I need to go in and we need to remove the rear A-arms, the rear shocks, and rebuild these rear hub bearings and get everything ready to go. These hub bearings are actually stuck. They are not moving. Um, I went ahead and what I was going to do was I was going to paint these and reassemble the other side before I made this uh, video. However, when I pulled the bearings out of the ends here on the top and the bottom, uh, there's needle bearings on the inside, just like on your crank or on your uh, not on your crankshaft, on your piston rod, and they were all froze up, which means massive amounts of water. These things have actually I shouldn't say that this hasn't that these haven't been torn apart because one of them looked like they would like it was brand new, and the other one on the bottom on the other one that I was doing both of them were stuck so. I believe that this quad has seen some maintenance, but not very good maintenance because if you had all this stuff apart, you would just take care of the issues all at one time. So um, I don't want to scare anybody off from doing any of this work yourselves. I'm going to walk you through step by step, but here's the deal. These quads are old. Um, the, this stuff that I'm doing in this video, this stuff that needs to be done on a continual basis, a lot of this stuff. Um, just for maintenance purposes, you're talking, uh, yeah, this is a high performance, in, you're supposed to change the oil on these quads every 10 hours. So, you know, you're talking two, three years on a lot of these bearings and stuff, and this stuff never gets done. Really, to avoid this is you just need to keep everything greased, and after you take it out mudding and riding, you just need to clean it up. It's, it's when it sits dirty, nasty, parked, full of mud, it's been underwater, yeah, you know, maybe you're in the desert. I don't know, but where we ride around here, it's water and in the woods. So uh, you just need to clean the clean the equipment off after you use it. But we're gonna go ahead and get into this, and I'll show you how to do this. My prediction is that the needle bearings on the inside are stuck as well. That's my prediction. So we'll go ahead and disassemble this, and then we will get them repainted and get these needle bearings loosened up so you don't have to replace them. I think you can loosen these up if they're stuck. And then the next video will be after they're painted, the new wheel bearings will be pressed into the housings after they're painted. I need to paint the drive for probably about a week because I'm gonna brush it on. So yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so we're at the toolbox here. I don't know if my face is gonna stay on the camera for this. And uh, what we have is here is our wheel bearing housing and we'll go ahead and get started on this basically what you have is you've got four you know I thought this plastic floor was a good idea to put this in my garage I've had nothing but problems with this plastic floor I had a motorcycle fall off a stand uh, my motorcycle lift I had to put abrasive tape on the bottom of it because it slides and this bar stool is sliding on this uh, floor. Don't think I'd recommend this plastic floor for somebody's garage that necessarily is going to work on motorcycles. It'd be great if you're just going to park a car or need something nice. But uh, motorcycle work, and you have a paddock stand and swing arm stand and steering head stand, and you're taking the forks off of motorcycles, I just don't think I can recommend it. But anyway, what we have is we'll have four of these the rubber housing what we're going to do is we're going to take a screwdriver and just kind of pry the end of it up and then we're going to just remove it and i actually sprayed this down with some uh, uh well i used amsoil power foam cleaner which is used to clean intake manifolds but i had to get these kind of cleaned up um before I could even film on this so and this one piece of rubber here is actually starting to uh, 
starting to deteriorate. So we will address that at a later date. We're not going to pull it out. You can kind of see that it's starting to uh, fall apart. So I'm actually going to try to pull this out. And of course, they're not going to pull out the bearings. So we're going to have to beat them out. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to use the other needle bearings off of the other one I've already disassembled. And we are just going to go alongside here. And once I got these to move, see these needle bearings, I guarantee you're stuck because they're not even, they're not turning at all. So we'll just kind of tap this out of there. see if we can pull this out there we go let's see if my prediction is right hey this one's actually moving I'm kind of surprised this top one is actually moving so on the other one I th actually I think it was the top one that was good on the other one and the bottom ones were bad. So we'll go ahead and try to get this bottom one removed here. There we go. Scratch out my new toolbox. Oh no, I scratched my toolbox that's made to be scratched. It's like, you know, it's like buying a truck, man. I can't stand people that buy trucks and then are afraid to haul stuff in them. It's just unbelievable to me. Ugh. Oh, this one's pretty stuck too. Actually, let me show you the wear. Look at the wear on this. I guarantee this one on, the on this side is froze because this is so worn down. It should be, it, they'll be a little worn down, but they will be. Dude, this one's turning too. I'm surprised this is, that these are actually turning. So this video actually might, I probably should have done a video on, uh, on the one I disassembled. Punch that all the way out of there. Oh, great. Where in the hell did that go? Okay, so we'll just check that one moves. And this one is a prime example of what's stuck. Don't panic if they're stuck. Try to get in there. I don't know if this camera. Is real clear in there. And what you will see is that this one will not turn at all you can see that the water has totally been in there look at that so what we're going to do is we're going to spray this down with heavy duty degreaser and we're going to go ahead and clean the other side and then we'll go ahead and clean the top side as well okay now i have my little makeshift uh area here to do my spraying so we'll contain it and what we're going to do is we're just going to spray the inside where the needle bearings are and just let this heavy duty degreaser do its job look at the the muck coming out of this
And this may take multiple sprays. Aims oil heavy duty degreaser. You don't know when you're going to use it. It's actually quite pricey. Um, but the stuff is killer. So check the links below. Any purchases really help me out. So we'll go ahead and let that set. And then uh, what we'll do is I'll come back and spray it again. And then I will try to free that bearing up. Okay. So while I'm waiting here, uh, boy, my vision's all screwed up, guys. I, uh, I most definitely need to go to the eye doctor. I haven't been to an eye doctor in over 14 years, so. Uh, no, I shouldn't say that. I, I haven't been to an eye doctor, but I have got new glasses. But I haven't got new glasses in like eight years. So I'm starting to have some vision problems. Um, of course, I don't have any health insurance because I make just enough to survive, but not enough to make a house payment, car payment, insurance payment. Uh, try to put all the money that I can into the YouTube so I can help people and try to get a new uh, a third stream of income. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these needle bearings or whatever these are called, sorry if my terminology isn't correct, and where they're actually wore out, I'm gonna try to clean it up with the uh, with the brass brush on the, the bench grinder. I'm not gonna get too far into the metal because these are plated. So anything that's worn, I'm going to kind of get into here and try to clean the surface up. That way it'll roll a little bit better now that we have the other pieces free. So this won't take very long.
cleaned up, but these are pretty, it's pretty worn down. They're still usable though. What I'll do is I'll try to flip them to the other side, especially on that top one that's worn down. smooth it out so these are at least usable. I tried to order some uh, stuff from Polaris and <laughs> good luck getting the light bulbs. They don't even make them anymore. And uh, what else did I try to order? I can't remember what else I ordered. I, uh, I think I ordered uh, gaskets and I ended up going to KTM because they were engine gaskets because the guy Polaris and people work Polaris. I'll tell you what. Okay, well, I couldn't break that free, so we're going to get the old WD-40 out and spray it down and then let it set for five minutes. I may let it set overnight. Then I'll come back and see if it's free. Okay, it's been about a half an hour since I sprayed it with the WD-40 and... And it looks like I broke that one that was stuck free. I don't know if you can see this or not. Take a look at that. I'm not going to have to replace it now. So what I'll do is go ahead and turn these. And then I will respray them. And let it set overnight. And then I'll come back and clean it out again and then I'll paint these and the next video will press the bearings in. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the playlist below. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in those playlists and hopefully this will help you save a little bit of money if you go through the series here. These rear uh, bearings aren't very expensive. It's just a matter of getting them out and putting them back in. So uh, don't forget to check the videos below and I'm out of here.